this is Tom from Northwest Trains and I'm back in the loft for update number 26 on the loft model railway now um, again since last update all the attention has been on this side of the layout mainly uh, I've got my harbour walls glued into place and um, I've put a coat of filler right the way along so it's like a level surface I've done my track over here for the uh, abandoned mine again it's all part of what I want to make a sort of museum effect out of it so tracks glued down we've got our little turntable we'll have a little close up picture of that in a sec and um, I've obviously tried to create a sort of a tramway with this track with the concrete effect I think it's come out alright it's still a little bit soft what I've done is I used this uh, acrylic filler just out of a mastic gun easy enough to use it spreads really nicely and it takes it does take a long time to go off but what that does allow you to do is you can put it down roughly you can leave it for a while then you can just get yourself a decorator scraper smooth it off and if you see any other bits you don't like you can smooth it off again a few hours later now this has been left to set for a, a good day or so now, uh, I'm sort of working out as I go along, really, like I normally do. Now, the, these resin walls are pretty good, but because um, I've like, sort of rough cut some of them, I've got to fill in some of these gaps here. And for that, I've got this uh, Humbrol model filler. So, uh, that'll be the next job. And obviously, we've either got to build up the bank under this here or we've got to make it a bit deeper so i haven't decided on that one yet so just as an example i've got a few of these little resin boats out i started painting them but uh what i've got to decide is whether i'm going to put another wall along here and through here or am i just going to do a rock face uh as always i appreciate people's opinions of what you think let me know so I'll have to buy more, but I'll also have to buy something that's a bit deeper than that, because they're only about 35 mil, I think they are. So for here, I'd need some 40 or 50 mil. Now this resin boat here, now I know that it's not realistically going to fit under that bridge, but I thought it looks the part. So if we fit a jetty or we just leave it sat there, again, it can be just part of the museum effect. And um, we got somewhere for the cargo to go, and obviously... Um, We'll have a couple of cranes and things set up once it's uh, once the basics is done. We've also got uh, our little point levers, the little Pico ones that have painted up and glued down. So we're almost ready for ballasting the main track. Um, so it's, again, just um, next thing is to paint all this, paint the walls to a basic colour, fill in the bottom like I say. So we can sort of see where the water effect's going to go. And uh, yeah, I'm really uh, looking forward to how this turns out. I'm quite pleased with it so far. So uh, we'll just turn the camera over a sec. Right, so moving on to this corner. Like I say, we're going to put like an old siding in here, I think. Along with some old wagons and sleepers. And again, because it, again, mine, quarry, that sort of theme. I picked these up from... Uh, the Lee Model Railway Show, so they're quite a nice sort of realistic, well they are real stone, so we're going to pile them up in the corner, again might have an old digger or something next to them, and that's like an alternative sort of stone effect, so might use a mixture of the two or might just use this one, but again, you want to look up the name, just something there, something else I picked up. Like uh, like I say, I really want to get cracking with this corner now. One thing I still haven't done yet is add lights here. Again, that's a job I keep me in to do, so hopefully we'll do that before the next update. I also want to add another building into this corner, which will be the museum building. So, um, again, if we get a bit of free time, the weather's not great, I'll get cracking with building that. Okay, so um, we'll take a look down the other side of the layout now.
Right, so this side of the layout, uh, pretty much uninteresting side. I noticed on this inner track here that the train started derailing, like trains that have never had a problem going around that curve before. And I couldn't understand why, and eventually when I got underneath the boards and realised that the two boards had s stepped slightly, like that. So, as the trains were running through the tunnel here, the track was floating by about a um, quarter of an inch, well, half an inch. So, um, obviously I built these boards back in 2015, just out of scrap bits of offcuts I'd left over from work. So, um, it was never actually originally intended to be a permanent layout, hence all the set track that I started off with. But um, over the years, I just built it up and built it up. Uh, anyway, so what I had to do was get underneath, I had to pull this board off, take everything off this board. Luckily, it's only temporary anyway, which was handy. Uh, so I cleared this board, I had to get underneath, I had to push this board up that was underneath here. So it was flush with this board and put an extra support and timber going across just to hold it up and screw it down. And since then, it's it's been fine. So uh, that was the reason for the uh, video trains going through the empty fiddle yard. So, um, and it was also gave me a chance to clean all the track in the fiddle yard and hoover up all the dust and everything off the cork. So that's that. Okay, so moving on this side of the layout again, not much has changed. When, I think it was the same place I got the resin boats from, in one of my haul videos, I picked up this uh, loco boiler. Now it was meant to be narrow gauge for the... Uh, now we get each track, but as you can see, it's far too big, in my opinion. It'd probably be the size for a Garrett engine, maybe, but it's also a bit small for the Heritage. Like, well, maybe not too small. It's bigger than the uh, Andrew Barkley over there. But I thought, either way, I part painted it maroon here, Brian maroon, so I put another layer on it, and I'll see if I can get a figure on a little step ladder painting it, just so it's ready to go back into a loco. Just another little bit of interest, hopefully, in the uh, siding area. And um, coming down here now, as mentioned last time, I need to get more figures on the track. Now, I've got these from, uh, again, from eBay, I think they were from. And uh, I've painted them up. I was a bit gutted, really, because just after I purchased these, I've seen that West Hill Wagon Works done them, and they're already painted. Hey, well, never mind. So um, I've done them in blue and grey because uh, all my signage and the uh, little shelters are all in the same sort of blue colour. And I'm going for Northern Rail as well, with it being northwest. So hopefully they fit in with the colours. Now you can see I've glued the first platforms down so far. I should have got more really, only got six, but. Um, It'll do for now, I think. So, over here, got another one. I've added a few more standing figures as well. This bloke, if you ever used to watch um, Bob Symes' TV programmes, he's done various model railway programmes. This little figure reminds me of him a bit, so we'll call him Bob. He's glued down. Got a bloke here on his mobile phone. After checking the, the train times. And um, more passengers standing here. Again, it'll be better once I have the benches. I must confess, though, the reason why these benches aren't glued down yet is because um, I had loads of figures and I ended up pinching half of them for the little museum layout. So there will be a little update on that soon. So um, the next time I nip up to Carnforth Models or an exhibition, I'll pick up some more seated figures for the layout. Let's just go back over here. I weathered this up a tiny bit more. I think it looks pretty good. Now, what I've got to do over here is um, made these pillars. So I've just got to cut a bit more out of one of these girders here. Go put some tops on here and sort out what we're doing here. But I'm hoping to be able to hide some of the, oops, knocked it over, the wiring under there for the. Um, I'm going to put some lights in here eventually when I get the chance and obviously we've got a car here please car have a flashing light so there's going to be a little accident in the tunnel unfortunately but again I do like my 19s and I want as many lights as I can fit in 
Yeah, nothing else there. We've got the DJ models uh, 14XX there, running really nicely. A lot of people uh, hated these models, but touch wood so far, I've not had a problem with them. Over here, this point here was faulty. It would only work in one direction. And uh, I'll put a picture up now what the old one was like when I took it out. It was that frustrating, I didn't bother trying to film it. So it's a pain trying to get the old one out and get the new one in without uh, doing any damage. Again here we've got a little hut there. We've got our workman figures. So I'm going to have to put some uh, sleepers or rails or something here and try and create a bit of a scene here with some figures. So I'm going to look at the pacer coming past here. Managed to get this one working nicely again now. It's had a good clean bit of an oil. It's working really smoothly again now. So this is the homey model. I've got the real track one on pre-order. So it'll be interesting to compare them. I'm surprised Hornby haven't updated theirs to be honest. Yeah, nothing new over here. Just um it's actually looking a bit uh, a bit bare to be honest because I've pulled it all up. Again, it is only temporary. So yeah, that's it now for um, our latest update. Well, I'll show a few running clips now of the layout and um, like I say, the next video for the, probably be the micro layout, but uh, we'll see. So um, don't forget to um, put a comment, what you like, if you have any ideas yourself for me, always happy to take them. and. Um, for the next running session, if there's any locos or particular trains you want to see running, please put in the comments and I'll uh, take down a note. So, um, big thank you for watching and uh, bye for now.